Hello everyone, welcome back to SQL Brain Box. Today I want to look at database backup on Microsoft Azure. So database backup can help to recover your data in case of any uncertain delete, update or any disaster happen. In Microsoft Azure, SQL database automatically create a database backup that are kept between 7 to 35 days. And this database backup stored in a read access geo-redundant storage to ensure that database backup available in case of data center unavailability. In this video, we will discuss first automatic database backup and then how to take a manual database backup. So here I have listed down certain point of automatic database backup and we will discuss each and every point. First full backup. So whenever you create your database in Azure, immediately the full database backup perform after that the database backup strategy every weekly full backup perform every one hour differential backup perform and every 5 to 10 minutes transaction log backup perform so this is overall a database backup strategy in microsoft azure then backup retention period so the backup retention period is based on your service tier but 7 days for basic tier service tier and 35 days for standard and premium service tier also you can configure a long term retention backup where your backup is available up to 10 years storage so as we discuss the database backup stored in a geo redundant storage account so in case of any data center unavailability you can access your database backup storage cost so it's a free backup storage up to double size of your database backup. If you use a restore ca capability to, to create a new database, then the charge will be normal database rate. Security. So by default, whenever you create a database in Azure, configure with the TDE. So if your database is encrypted, so the backups are automatically encrypted and the LTR is backups are also encrypted. So backup integrity. So Microsoft team is ensured this backup integrity. They will perform certain tests to ensure the backup integrity. The important note is backups are inaccessible. You can't download or manually restore a automatic backup. You can use automatic backup to restore a database using Azure Portal, Azure CLI, PowerShell and .NET. Now let's discuss about the manual backup. So there is a case now you want to take this database backup and restore into the local environment like the event test. Then you want to export a backpack or deckpack file to create an environment, day or test environment. So for that, either you can use uh, Azure Portal, PowerShell, SSMS or SQL package.exe to export a backpack and deckpack file. In a demo, we will see how to export a backpack and deckpack file. So there are two limitations in automatic database backup. First, you can't overwrite an existing database backup database using restore. And second, you can't restore the did, uh, you can't restore the database in a different logical server. Thanks for watching. See you in a demo. Welcome to demo. Uh, here I have created one SQL brain box one logical server. Inside this logical server, we will create the database. Right now, there is no database inside this server. So let's first create a database. So click on SQL database, create a SQL database. Give the database name, SQL backup, review and create. Deployment succeed, database got created. So let's quickly check. Yeah, now the database is here. SQL backup demo. So now again, we will go through the SQL server. So as we discussed, whenever you create a database, SQL server, it immediately take the full database backup and uh, by default, SQL Server take the database backup weekly, full backup, 
differential backup 5 to 10 minutes sorry differential backup every 1 hour and log backup 5 to 10 minutes you can only configure the database backup retention prior so let's quickly check click on the sql server click on the manage backups so here you can now the sql backup demo listed just click on checkbox and configure the retention so here you can only configure the database backup file retention prior so right now the database uh, point in time configuration is 7 days as per my service tier i am using the basic service tier but if you but you can change 7 to up to 35 days as well as you can configure the long term retention prior backup backup up to weeks month day and year so how long would you like weekly backup to be kept so you can configure the days week as per your backup strategy point okay and click on apply so updating the retention policy now is updated so now the weekly ltr backups is available 50 days again here there is one menu called deleted database so the deleted here whenever you delete uh, any database in a sql server automatically the database is available here as per the retention fee okay so just now i have deleted one database so now we will see here again the point in time backups is also changed earlier it, 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 it earlier it was a 7 days now it's a 35 days now we need to restore this database in our on premises server so how to take the manual backups in azure because this automatic database backup file is not available we are not able to access this file directly so now i have connected this server in my through in a ssms and let's refresh it first so the sql backup demo is available let's first first create the table now i want to restore this database in my local environment okay so how you can do let me first connect my local environment this is my local environment where there is no database is available so as we discussed in a uh, in a presentation you can import a deckpack and backpack file so go to the task go to the task and export data tire application click on next save to disk yes so i am going to save this backpack file in a f drive sql backup demo click on next click on next so now the backpack file got created click uh, connect your on premises server right click and import your data tire application so click on next select the file next next and and finish so import operation successfully completed click on close refresh the your on premises server database are available the test table is also available so using backpack export backpack and backpack file you will get a database from azure to on premises so i hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching see you in the next video